Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and one of the questions I've been asked the most in the last week or two is if you should pick the Redmi 3S or the 3S Prime as Xiaomi is calling it uh, over the Redmi Note 3. So in this video, let's break it down and let's get started. Let's start with the price. The Redmi 3S is priced at 9,000 rupees for the Prime variant and the Redmi Note 3 starts at 10,000 for the 216 variant and goes up to 12,000 for the 332 variant. So we have a price difference of 1 to 3,000 rupees here. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's see what are the differences between these two phones. First, the specs. The Redmi Note 3 sports a Snapdragon 650 chip. That's two high-performance Cortex-A72 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz each, four power-efficient Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.4 GHz each. The Redmi 3 Prime sports an octa-core chip, the Snapdragon 430. Now that's eight Cortex-A53 cores. As far as the GPU performance goes, on paper, the Redmi Note 3 is more powerful at Reno 510 compared to 505 on the 3S Prime. But the Note 3 also has a higher resolution display. So though the GPU is more powerful here, it's kind of, there's kind of more stress on it. So in real day-to-day -day usage, both phones perform reasonably well. With the popular games, there were no issues with just the occasional hiccup with the most intensive of titles. And so, well, yes, the Redmi Note 3 is the better spec phone. In reality, with day-to-day -day usage, you're not gonna notice a lot of difference between both. Like I mentioned, the Redmi Note 3 sports a higher resolution display. Full HD spread across 5.5 inches, meaning a pixel density of 400 pixels per inch. The Redmi 3S, on the other hand, sports a lower 720p resolution, but the display is also smaller at 5 inches. That said, the pixel density is lower, around the 300 pixels per inch mark. Here though the difference is noticeable, the Redmi Note 3 does have a noticeably sharper display. So I guess you can see a trend here, the Redmi Note 3 is just a little better than the Redmi 3S in all aspects. That's the same when it comes to the cameras. The 16 megapixel rear shooter on the Redmi Note 3 does better than the 13 megapixel rear camera of the Redmi 3S. So while the Redmi Note 3 does better with regards to the specs inside, display resolution and the cameras, the 3S has its own set of advantages as well. Number one, we saw this already, price. Number two, the form factor. Now, if you're someone like me who likes single-handed usage, then the Redmi 3S is definitely gonna serve you well. As much as I like the Redmi Note 3, that's not a phone you can use single-handed at all times. And number three, the battery life. Here's the kicker. Despite being smaller, slimmer, and lighter than the Redmi Note 3, the Redmi 3S packs in a marginally larger capacity battery, 4100 mAh compared to 4000 mAh on the Redmi Note 3. The battery life on the Redmi Note 3 is very good, but it's a little better with the Redmi 3S. Again, in real day-to-day -day usage, the difference might be as little as an extra hour or two of usage. So the Redmi 3S has an edge, a slight one, but an edge nonetheless with regards to battery. Now, given that Xiaomi provides a consistent software experience across models and taking into account the fact that the build and design are extremely similar and other miscellaneous stuff like the speaker output, call quality and cellular reception are again almost identical, the six areas that we've seen so far are where there are the most differences between these two phones. So, what's the better phone for you? Well, when you look at it, in reality, the cameras, the performance, the battery, or the price, these are still quite comparable. I know both phones have their own sets of pros and cons here. In my honest opinion, it all comes down to the display size. What's your choice? Five inches or 5.5 inches? Do you want a compact phone for general use or maybe as a secondary device that you'd prefer to use single-handed? Or do you want a bigger phone with a larger display for better media consumption? Ask yourself that. Whatever your answer is, well, that's the phone I recommend you pick up. So that's it for this video. Was it helpful? If you think it was, give this video a thumbs up. If it wasn't, well, you know what to do. And for more content like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do wanna, Pick either of these phones up. I'll leave direct links in the description below. Use them, it helps the channel out. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.